This is Drew with the podcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. Well, greetings and welcome to another one of our videos exploring the Zoom F3 field recorder. The specific question that we had this time on it was uh, recording in stereo. Now, the cool thing with the Zoom is that it's got the two channel inputs, and so you can either record as two separate mono tracks or as one stereo track. And I've got a video that we shot over at the store that's going to demonstrate some of that stereo functionality. But there's a couple of different moving parts going on here, and I really wanted to demonstrate those for you. Uh, so we've got but the Zoom set up here, and I've got in channel one, I've got my Audio Technica ATR 2100X, and then in channel two, I've got the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2. Why did I pick those? They happen to be what I have that has XLR uh, inputs. It's it's just what I had on hand. Uh, and you can see right now that the Zoom is showing those two uh, audio sources coming through. So what we're going to do, we'll go in here and check out, just to confirm, we go into recording, so menu recording, uh, file format, and we are in fact in mono. So what that's going to do, it does a couple of different things depending on what you're doing to record. So for recording to the internal SD card, what it's actually going to do is create two separate tracks, track one and track two, and it's not going to be panned left or right, it's going to be centered because it's a mono track. So watch what happens here. So I hit record, now we're recording on there. Um, so this is the Audio-Technica 2100X, which is going to be in the left side, and then uh, over here on the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is on the right. So I'm going to stop that recording, and then what we're going to do is uh, go over to Audacity, and uh, I'll do... Uh, let's see, so first we go here. Uh, we want to set this as our um, USB file transfer. So menu, USB file transfer, and then we're good to go on that. And then I'll get over here onto the screen share, uh, new, and in Audacity. Oh, and the other thing, you want to make sure you select your correct um, outputs for your audio, your inputs, all that kind of stuff, because Audacity can do weird things. So we will open, and we'll, we're on the F3, come all the way down to the track that we just created, and that will open that here. So I hit record, now we're recording on there. Uh, so this is the audio tech. So that's just a mono track. It's only on one side, it's, it's centered rather, but it's only one of those two audio sources. If we wanted to bring the second one in here, we have to do an import. Uh, and again, that's, um, this is just an Audacity thing. So import track two, it's gonna automatically line it up and that's fantastic. You don't have to worry about uh, trying to okay, edit the 2100X, which is gonna be in the left side. And then uh, over here on the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is on the right. So I'm gonna stop that recording. And if we wanted to turn this into a stereo uh, recording, it's actually pretty simple to do here. Uh, you would just come up here on one track pan all the way left, on the other track pan all the way right, and then listen to what we get. This is the Audio-Technica 2100X, which is going to be in the left side. And then uh, over here on the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is on the right. So I'm going to stop that so you can do it that way. That's fine. You might be creating a little more work for yourself, and I will show you why here. Um, so what you can do is you come up over, uh, come on. Um, so we'll get out of file transfer mode. So if we come up menu, and then we go up to recording, um, and then we go to file format stereo, so now instead of having uh, two separate tracks that are going to be showing up in the SD card as two separate tracks, it's going to be one track. And so now here we are in the Audio Technica and then into the road, and then we're going to get the stereo effect as I'm holding them out like that. I know this is silly, but it's just a demonstration. So we'll stop the recording and then we'll go back in to our um, file transfer mode. Then we'll come back into Audacity. We'll go into our screen share. Come on, Audacity, you can do it. So if I do File, Open, come all the way down to the one that I just made, and then open that. Now you can see it basically did the work for us. It created a stereo track, and here I'll play it. Two separate tracks that are going to be showing up in the SD card as two separate tracks. It's going to be one track. And so now here we are in the Audio Technica, and then into the road, and then 
We're going to get the stereo effect as I'm holding them out like that. I know this is silly, but it's just a demonstration. So you're, you're actually creating less work for yourself when you do it that way. And this is what we used in the video clip that I'm going to show um, with, for when we uh, were demonstrating all of the stereo capabilities of it. So check out the clip that Braden and I did over at the store. And then I'm going to show you a couple of editing things that I actually had to do with that to create that clip because it, it really did some interesting things. So here's that clip. So we're here in the parking lot at Mobile Music, which is right behind us. Uh, why are we doing this? This is the worst place possible to record. Into the iPhone specifically, though, we had a question about the F3 field recorder by Zoom about recording the stereo, and where better to demonstrate stereo functionality than outside? So uh, that is what we're going to do. So right now we've got the audio just in the iPhone. We're going to add on the audio that we're recording right now into the F3 so you can hear that difference and uh, see how easy it is to record the stereo. Brayden's going to explain what the setup is that we got going on here. So take it away, Brayden. So here we have the Zoom F3 being the center brain. Uh, on the microphones that we're using are the Shure SM27s, which are not standard for what you would use for outdoor events. Oh, no, no, yeah. Hey, <laughs> let, let's be clear. This is horrible recording conditions. People are coming in and out driving the parking lot, but that's a fantastic way to prove what we're trying to show. And how I have them set up is going directly into the Zoom. One is channel right, and two is channel left. Uh, from there, the only thing that I had to change was the actual recording style or recording format from dual mono to stereo. Yeah, the Zoom has that functionality, so you can record them as two separate tracks or you can have them together as a stereo track. Stereo meaning uh, channel one is on one side, channel two is on the other side, so you're going to hear it uh, and get that depth of sound from there. Uh, so we're going to switch over to the audio from the Zoom so you can hear what we're talking about, and uh, we'll move back here a little bit. So now we switched over from the audio, no longer listening to the iPhone, you're getting the uh, audio on the Zoom. I've added that in post production. To show you what the stereo does and why it matters. Why would you want to put the stereo on the demonstration button? So, the best reason to use stereo is if you're doing video, you want to be able to immerse your audience into what you're doing. So, for instance, if you see something swiping from left to right, you want to be able to hear and feel that effect. The other benefit with that is if you were doing, let's say, orchestra recording, you go in. Use one of these set up on a single mic stand, your two microphones, and have your stereo recording or what the audience would expect to hear in the best possible way. To really show off the difference on the stereo versus mono recording, I've set the microphones even further apart to really show off the left to right transition. So what you really got out of that is the panning, uh, the going from the left to the right on that video. And that's what we're trying to demonstrate. So that's why, I mean, the recording conditions are horrible doing something like that. You, you don't want to do that. Um, but you have recording directly into the iPhone, but then also um, going uh, and using the, the Zoom. And I added that in, like I said, I, I took the audio off of the iPhone video and then put it back on there. But the raw audio had some interesting things to it, and I wanted to show you those. And so we'll go back to our screen share. And so this is what that raw audio looked like. And uh, if you notice, so we recorded in stereo, but if you notice here, we've uh, got a whole bunch of noise on one side and not on the other. So what happened here, for some reason, um, the left channel, so channel one, recorded at an extremely low volume. And so this is actually a really good case for recording into the SD card, uh, not using it as an interface or something like that. So uh, when you look at these peaks right here, there's a really cool trick that I'm going to use here to kind of fix this problem because one side is really, really quiet, the other side's not. Um, 
I know this is all just garbage at the front. I, I know that from the recording. So what I'm going to do here is just delete. So actually, I'm going to uh, with a control L. So generate silence. So I know that there's stuff in here. And this is because of, as we've mentioned with the F3, the 32-bit float functionality of it is that it has infinite headroom, but it also has infinite floor. So this is super quiet here, and we want to bring that back up. So we recorded into stereo, um, but now we want to only fix one side of it, not the other. What we can do, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Um, so if we select tracks and loudness normalization we can normalize the channels independently and so let's see what happens with that that's this is one way of doing it. there's always multiple ways of doing these things that didn't work the way that I wanted it to and that's fine so then what I'm going to do here is come into split stereo track now we've got two separate tracks that can be edited independently which is super super cool so we come into effect uh, loudness normalization and then oh, that one did sorry I, it was game that I want to add on to it. See, like I said, this stuff's always live on tape. So, uh, you know, you, you, you get the, uh, you, you get the real stuff going on here. Uh, so let's do amplification. Bang. So now we actually have something that we can edit. So that was always there. We just couldn't see it. And so we're adding gain onto it. And again, with the 32 bit float, what's really cool about that is it's not going to add a whole lot of noise onto it. It's not going to add any noise onto it. So now if we listen to this track, it's going to be. Awesome. So that's, uh, so I mute one side, so on the left now you can hear this a little bit more. So if we do a fact, and now I'm just playing around with it, just trying to get this stuff to all kind of work together. There we go, loudness normalization, that's going to be a lot louder. And if we do that to the other track as well. So what the loudness normalization do, and it's going to normalize based on peaks. If you do that to both sides of it, they should sound about the same you know, loudness wise. So that's going to fix that problem that we had where it recorded at a really low volume for some unknown reason. So these two should sound about right. right. So you can see what I'm talking about here, where it's just kind of, it was horrible recording conditions. We knew that from the beginning, that, that was never really the issue. So that is um, our quick little tutorial on how to use the Zoom uh, F3 field recorder to do a stereo recording. My recommendation on it, if you want to do it in stereo, set it to stereo mode and record that way. You can always split the tracks in post and uh, edit them independently uh, as you just saw right there, uh, specifically with Audacity. Uh, Audition, I know you can do that. There's, there's lots of uh, software out there that'll, that'll do that. Um, but super simple to do, very, very effective in creating that depth of sound that you're looking for out of your recordings. Uh, give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, check out the other videos in the channel. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, let me know other ideas that you have or stuff you'd like to see. And we'll catch up with you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.